Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I just got something cool to show you guys. As you guys know, I started playing survival and playing survival, you use the netigate a lot. And in 1.3, there's actually a chance that uh, zombie pigment spawn outside. So you might not wanna keep your nether portal on all the time. So I came up with this very nice compact circuit that uh, one click turns it on, another click turns it off. It runs on fire charges, so I must say it's not cheap. So bear that in mind when uh, you continue watching this, but uh, it's probably the, one of the most fancy nether gates you can, uh, you can get. Um, saying that, I know I'm not the first one to post a video like this, so I like take no credit for the, um, the concept by itself. Uh, actually a while back, Redillion posted a design for Toggable Nether Portal on uh, Reddit. Put a link in the description to uh, to the post. But um, yeah, this is just my own take uh, on the concept. And uh, yeah, I guess I should show you guys how to uh, how to build this baby. Okay, in order to build this baby, you need what you see in front of you now. So Nether Portal with a button and two half slabs, and what you see in my inventory. I'm using a lapis, but obviously you can use whatever the hell you want. Uh, what we do is we place a block with a repeater um, next to or behind the button, then a sticky piston with a block facing upward, then another one tick delay repeater, then a sticky piston facing to the side, two blocks over here, two torches below, and a one tick to repeater over here. Then we place our first dispenser there and the other dispenser over here. You can then fill this up if you want. Then what we get is we get a block here redstone dust, sticky piston facing up with a block, then a three tick delay repeater, a block, redstone dust. Don't forget a lever here. If you forget that, it's not going to work. Then we place our fire charges in this dispenser and our water bucket in this dispenser. And one click should now make water appear and disappear. And the second click is gonna activate the portal. So now there you go. There is your toggleable portal. Now, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe or check out my other videos and be sure to leave a like if you like this. Like always, I'll add the world file in the description of the video and I will see you all later. Bye bye.